This might be the winner for the most interesting and creative bunkhouse fifth wheel RV here at the Hershey RV Show for 2024. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, we're here at the Hershey RV Show where they display all of the new 2024 models for the first time publicly. And this primetime Sanibel has what is probably the most interesting bunkhouse fifth wheel design that I have seen that is a new floor plan for 2024 out of everything here at the show. And that's a pretty deep statement because there's so many different fifth wheels here at this show. And so I'm really impressed. I actually have not filmed very many Sanibels before in the past. In fact, I might've only filmed one. So this is a brand that I just haven't got a whole lot of exposure to. Um, the model we're looking at here, it is a 3952 FBWB. I had to actually come up to the sticker because that thing is a mouthful. So that is the model number on it here. And this is a huge fifth wheel. It's definitely, I'm guessing gonna be 44 feet in length, it looks like. I haven't looked at the exact specs yet, but this looks to be about 44 feet in length. You do have a ladder to get up onto the roof. This is going to have, you know, almost a flat roof line all the way to the back. It does have a slight slant down, but it's nothing crazy. Prep for a backup camera on the back. And then I'm actually gonna just kind of work my way from the back forward on the outside real quick. Come to the non-campsite real fast so we can just show you what's going on over here. Slide out here and one more slide out in the living room. You have your 50 amp power connection here. Black and gray tank dump valve right there. And it looks like there'll be another one up front. Rack and pinion style slide outs on these slide mechanisms here. And then underneath you're going to have, this is a Saloon tire. It's a 235 80 R16 tire. And this is your suspension system underneath here. I can't remember what the name of the suspension system is, honestly, but um, it's not like the most premium suspension system that I know of, but you do have it, you know, something that's not just a standard leaf spring suspension. Down underneath here, you have a fully enclosed underbelly. All your water tanks and water lines sit above that enclosed underbelly there. And then you have one more dump station right here as well. And so you have two different dump stations and we'll see why that is when we go inside. As you come forward, you're going to have underneath here, water compartment there. So this is where all of your water connections will be at. Storage compartment through here as well. And then this is what, it's, it's such an interesting model because it does not have a drop frame up front. So the frame does not drop down. It doesn't give you that bigger storage compartment that you get with the drop frame construction. However, it has a full profile front cap and almost a flat roof line to the back. So it's basically like it embodies everything of a full profile fifth wheel, except for the drop frame construction. So that is a big difference there. This also looks like this is an electric leveling system, not a hydraulic leveling system like you would find on full profile fifth wheels. So something with that there, it really falls into this middle ground where it's a very big, heavy fifth wheel, but it's also doesn't have that drop frame. So it's hard to classify it as a real true full profile fifth wheel when that storage space is just a little reduced compared to something that, you know, might be like a, um, like a river ranch or something like that, for example. But on the specs on this, you have a dry weight of 13,146 pounds. So definitely heavy. You have a G rated tire and it's going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,505 pounds. So you have a 300, or sorry, a 3,300 pound cargo carrying capacity on here. You have more storage up front as well. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of going back and forth places here. I'm just like, I'm really excited to show you this thing. Auto leveling controls there as well. And then as we come down underneath here, we are going to get inside this RV. You have a Lippert solid step when you're going inside, plus the new Moride safety rail as we go in here. And they improve the interior colors so much, in my opinion. I really, really like the way this looks in here now for 2024. You let me know what you think down below in the comments, of course, but I am really liking, especially for the price point where this fifth wheel comes in at, this is a really impressive option, like a really, truly impressive option. Uh, let me make sure, I wonder how you get this light on here. I don't feel a light switch on there, so I'm not really sure, but 
Um, lights aren't on in this slide out, but it still looks great nonetheless. And if you are looking for seating space in a bunkhouse fifth wheel, I mean, look at this. Obviously these are going to flip up there. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five recliners in this area. All of these seats will recline. Also a great spot to be able to lay down on because that looks like that is well over seven feet. I mean, just about any human on earth will be able to lay down on this sofa as well. And then pull these back. These are also going to lay down nearly flat there as well. So you'll have that capability with those. And let's get this recliner back down. Oh, it's gonna be a two hand process with this because you kind of got to pull it forward with your hand and push down on the um, recliner portion at the same time. And then back through here, you know, I haven't even played with this yet. I don't know what this is exactly. Is that just like, I'm gonna have to come back to this. We're gonna come back to that in a little bit, but you have that on both sides. I don't know if this is something that's like, it's not up against the wall. So it looks like it would come out, but when I pulled on it, nothing happened. We'll come back to that in a little bit though. Then when you come into your kitchen space, not only do you have all these seats with recliners, you also have three bar stools that it's gonna come with. And this is, yeah, a flip up countertop here. So you have an eating space as well. You can see how plates and drinks will fit in this space. Has the three bar stools. You have the island kitchen. You have the retractable TV. And this is a 101 inch wide body construction fifth wheel. Standard fifth wheels are 96 inches wide. So this here definitely has a ton of space in it. I mean, just a ton of space. It feels so open in this area. This space here just feels absolutely huge. And then we're gonna get to the price here in a little bit, but we are at an RV show. It is the Hershey RV show, and I can't guarantee the price here at this show is the price you will get at any given time at any location across the US, but we'll get to that later on in the video. You're going to have the electric fireplace here, LED light underneath that fireplace. It does have a lip there in that slide out. And then over here, you have this woven PVC kind of you know outdoor rug kind of material there with that carpet. Move across here and you're going to have the Insignia four burner stove and oven. And that is a real tile backsplash back there as well. So very impressive with that. Has a really nice looking, you know, kind of glass panel there on those cabinet doors as well. I like the way that looks. And then you have, it's like a very soft, kind of blue color on the cabinets here in the kitchen. This is going to be a residential size microwave. It's a standard microwave. And then you have some storage space up in there. Solid surface countertops as well. So love that. And then it has, these countertops have a, like a bit of a sparkle in them as well as that kind of bronzy looking color. Obviously this Insignia four burner stove and oven is the biggest stove and oven you're going to find in a fifth wheel RV. Um, if you don't know that, then welcome to Miles RVs, welcome to RV reviews. And that is something you'll find in a lot of different RVs as you watch more videos here. You have storage here to the left and to the right. That one does not have shelves in it. That's why I open all the cabinets and drawers usually. Cause it's like, I could say that it's identical storage on both sides, but unless I go through and actually open everything, I could be wrong. And a lot of times I don't walk through these entire RVs and look at everything before I start filming. I just walk in and I start filming. And I'm going through it for the first time with y'all. So hopefully you appreciate that. You get up my honest opinion and my honest first take on a lot of different things because I just shoot it on camera. Um, you're going to have a industrial style looking all black faucet. It's kind of nice how it has this little lip here. So it makes room for that refrigerator when that slide out comes in. This is going to, however, yeah, it looks like in every capacity there is going to block that refrigerator when the slides are closed. So if that's something that's important to you, that's something to keep note of. This is a single basin stainless steel sink with the drying rack over the top. Um, we looked at that, sorry, already looked at that storage and then have three pullout drawers here. This refrigerator here is a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. It's basically like a residential size refrigerator, just slightly smaller. And then that's going to have a good amount of space in there for you. Get your pantry in this model as well. So you will have this pantry space and then you have your coffee bar area, another tile bar or not tile bar, another tile backsplash. Um, some coffee pots and stuff like that might have a hard time fitting in this space, but that's something where this is probably about eight to 10 inches long or so. I'm trying to figure out exactly what that length may be, but looks like it's maybe close to 12 inches long. Gonna have storage space underneath there and storage space up in the cabinets as well. And these have that same 
um, glass panel there on these spaces here. So, I mean, my first impression when I walked in here is, wow, we have a standard fifth wheel RV with five recliners and you still get some sort of space to eat here. So that's really impressive, but that is not it. Um, you've already kind of seen back into the other bedroom, but look at this up in the front cab, you have a slide out in this wall with a TV and you get these L shaped bunks. I mean, this is like a kid's paradise in here. This is so stinking cool. One thing that is interesting is there is no door here to this area. So it is an open space coming into here that allows them to extend this slide out as far as possible here in this area. But there is no door to this area. So that is a very interesting thing that I literally just caught just now. Um, L-shaped bunks here. You have the ladder to get up onto the bunk. I mean, if you're a kid watching this video, let your parents type below in the com or let ask your parents if you can type below in the comments what you think about this bunk setup because I know if I was still a kid this would be the coolest stinking thing ever I would be so excited to sleep in here and what's cool to me too is if like you have smaller dogs or anything like that there's all the space underneath the bunk so you can put a dog bed underneath there or that's obviously just a great place for storage as well definitely thought about all the outlets because you have USB ports and USB type C connections there as well as here and so that's two up in the top bunk portion and you have one here as well and here as well so all in all you have four different outlet connection spots ladder to get up right here and ladder to get up on this other side as well and you have a desk space in here to go along with all of that so you have a desk you have a computer to show just how big this desk is because that's a pretty decent sized laptop pretty standard sized laptop and it takes up very little desk space there have a chair that it'll come with it looks like and storage space down through here three drawers that will pull out and a half bath in this area has a porcelain foot flush toilet has a bowl sink there that is a huge bowl sink and then you have your medicine cabinet up above and storage down here underneath the sink so let me know what you think about this bunk space so far what you think about this fifth wheel in general so far and real quick let me show you storage in this area as well those are just going to be open spaces here i don't want to assume that it's symmetrical on both sides but it is and then pull out drawers underneath here as well so four pull out drawers storage space here and then that lip there looks like it's just part of the slide mechanics as well um ceiling height in here is great too it's probably about like six foot five or so so not bad on the ceiling height and then as we go forward touchscreen control panel here this is a else uh or actually let me look and see oh it's a one control touchscreen control panel there so you'll have that touchscreen control panel that will control your phone plus you can link that or will control your rv and you can link that to your phone to control your rv as well from your phone pull down blackout shades on all of your windows and then as you go back into the bedroom king size bed in here again i really appreciate the color concepts in here and think it looks really nice and then across from here you're going to have a fireplace in the bedroom if having a fireplace in the bedroom an electric heat source for you is important here you go you get it with this model and then looking at some of the storage you have shelving space up through here window on your campsite and storage space down underneath here as well Coming back through this area, this is where your clothing rods are going to be. So you're actually going to have clothing rods that face this direction. So you're going to be able to hang shirts with like the face of the shirt looking at you when you open your closet door. And then you're going to have storage space down underneath here with some shelving. And then when this door is closed, this is what that will look like. You're also going to have a spot to put a TV on the wall here. So you can install a TV there and that will fit a pretty good sized TV. It looks like, and then that's just about everything for your storage. The additional storage space is up here over the bed and then under the bed. So you have drawers that open up there. We'll come with the bedding and the pillows and you have storage space down underneath here as well. 101 inch wide body construction gives you a nice big feel in here as well. Even though there's no slide out on this wall, gives you a great amount of walking space. And then back into the bathroom, first of all, you have closet with washer dryer connections in this closet so you can do stackable washer and dryer here and it does have a clothing rod so if you want to hang clothes in here you can and then you get a dual vanity setup has a nice symmetrical look to it 
storage here on the other side of the toilet. And then this toilet, plenty of room on both sides, a porcelain foot flush toilet. It has standard closing lid there. And then shelving built in here with storage. So a good amount of storage back here in the bathroom as well. To the other side, you are going to have a very tall shower. The ceiling is starting to slant down, so it does reduce the height a little bit back in this space, but the shower has a nice base to it. It is a plastic two-piece shower. And when I step inside here, oh yeah, I think you could stand at the very back point and you'd still probably have to be seven feet before you'd have to worry about anything. And they position this nice and tall, so camera's in my eye height and you can see I'm easily standing underneath that shower head there. So no issue with that. Can easily stand under that. If you're like six, three or under, you won't have to duck to get under the shower head. Storage in the bathroom, your medicine cabinets will all have shelving that go across like so. And you do have a vent fan here in the bathroom as well. Three drawers that pull out in this middle part and then storage underneath the sink has shelving in it as well. And then that is just about everything. Let me go show you the price real quick. And I'm gonna take a look at these black fixtures on this on these end pieces here as well real fast. But here at the RV show in Hershey, this is only $64,999. Now the MSRP is $97,274. So that will be the MSRP price. I don't know if you'll be able to get this price at any other time outside of this show. But even if you, I mean, this to me, honestly, like honestly, this looks like a $75,000 fifth wheel. And you know, that's just my opinion on it. That's just what I would have guessed walking in here. So it's a really, or maybe actually 75 is even a little low. I would actually would have thought like 80 to 85 maybe. Let's say 80, 80 is probably an appropriate number. And the fact that this is priced where it's at, I mean, this is a really, really interesting option. Let's take a look at these black things real quick and make sure that I'm not missing something. Okay, so these are secured into that position. So they're not going anywhere. They're just designed to have a little bit of, you know, table side or tabletop space on the side of the sofa. So that is everything then on this fifth wheel. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm very curious your thoughts on what you think about this concept and this layout and what you like and what you don't like. So let me know down below your thoughts. And then if you haven't already, make sure to go subscribe to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. That's gonna be the YouTube channel that is going to have some content for me that is going to be different from these RV reviews, but I'm very excited about it. I know you will like it or I wouldn't be talking about it and I wouldn't be suggesting that you go subscribe to that channel, but that channel there is going to have some fun stuff. There's no videos yet. So if you go subscribe, you're going to be able to catch the first video and it's going to be a lot of fun. So go subscribe to that channel. Last thing I did just notice too, looking up, there's two ACs on this fifth wheel. It's a whisper quiet AC. So AC is on full blast and really can't hear a thing, but it's a long fifth wheel for two ACs, so that is something to keep in mind as well. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.